All right, so in this video, we want to see how we can delete posts or resources. Let's go to this post, for example, and we want to add a button here that would give the ability to the users to delete that. So let's go back to our project and open the show component. And I'm just going to add some markup under this p tag. So I'm going to add a div and add some classes to it. And then within this div, we want to create our delete button. Now, now remember deleting a resource is through an HTTP request. So we need a form. Let's create a form tag here. And within that, we just want a button that says delete. Then I'm going to add some classes here again. So this is our delete button form. And if we go back to our website, here is the button. Now the process of submitting this form is pretty much like what we did with the create method. So first we need to import the use form from inertia. And again, I'm going to log it to the console before we use it. So let's open the console here and I'm going to reload the page and we have our use form hook with all its properties and functions. So all we need here is this delete function, which is our HTTP request. So let's say const and I'm going to say delete and set it to use form and that's all we have to do we don't need the initial value for this and delete this one but you notice we have an error here and that's because we can't call this delete in our component we have to give it another name and i'm going to call it destroy that would be the same name as our handler function in our post controller so now we want to create a function and let's call it submit again accept the event then say prevent default and then we want to use this delete method which we call the destroy. So basically we are saying we want to make an HTTP delete request to a URL. Now the URL we want to use is this one. So if we are going to hard code it, we can say posts forward slash post ID, or we can use the route package and use the named routes. So I'm going to do both of them. Let's say we want to do it manually. So we can use the backticks here and say forward slash posts, then the post ID. So we already have access to the post up here. So we just have to say post ID and that's all we have to do. So then we want to use this method on our form. So down here I can say unsubmit, submit the form. Now let's go to our post controller in the destroy method. Let's just die and dump that post and see what we get. So back to our website, I'm going to give it a refresh and press delete. You notice we get a post instance and under attributes, we have an array of four. The ID is 33, which is this post and the body and the dates. So it is exactly the post that we are looking for. So all we have to do now is to delete this post and we can say post, then use the delete function. And after we delete the post, we want to return a redirect maybe to the homepage. So let's see if this works. So back to our home page, I'm going to click on this first post and then delete it. So we are back to the home page and the post is gone. And if we check our database and then open the posts table, we have 32 posts. So the last one is gone. Now let's say I want to delete this 32, which should be the first one up here. So if I press read more, and then delete and that was probably post 31 because they had the same exact date but let's delete this one too delete and both of them are gone so we have 30 posts now and that is how we can delete a resource we just have to make an http request to the proper route now like i said we are going to use that ziggy package as well instead of this hard coded url so let's open our home page because we have the import up here i'm going to copy it and just paste it here then create our route instance set it to use route so now I'm going to duplicate this line and comment one of them out and then delete whatever is inside the destroy method. Then I'm going to use the route function and pass the name of the route as the first argument. So remember, you can find the names in your route list in your terminal and we want to go to posts destroy. So I'm just going to copy it, paste it here. And then as a second argument, we want to use this post. So let's just pass it down here and that's all we have to do. So let's test this out. I'm going to create a post first. So da -da -da, create post. We wait two seconds. Now I want to delete this, press delete and it's gone. Now in the next video, we want to see how we can add a flash message here. So when the user deletes a post like this, there will be an indication that says, okay, the post was deleted because right now it's not clear if we are deleting the posts. So let's do that in the next video.